Hi, my name is TJ, and uh, <clears throat> this is my first video about uh, my first video about dumpster diving. Um, real quick, uh, briefly, I thought that uh, dumpster diving was for homeless people, was for uh, very very poor people, um, and like most of the population uh, here in the states, I thought it was um, you know had a negative connotation. It's not something that you want to be doing. Um, I've been doing it now for uh, I don't know, approximately oh six months, maybe not even, and uh, it's uh, become something of a an addiction. Uh, sometimes it borders on hoarding, hoarding, and uh, other times it's just a uh, enjoyable little escape, little getaway uh, to search for little treasures. Um, it is now currently. Uh, November uh, 14th, 2019. It is 12.30 in the morning. 12.30 a.m. And uh, please forgive my house, the state that it's in. I just did a purge of uh, two, sh two sheds worth of stuff, and I'm fixing to have to do another one. Did a quick garage sale. Sold, sold some really awesome uh, items for very, very cheap. I try to move as much as possible. Uh, because there's negative connotation of dumpster diving, my neighbors have a negative connotation or negative opinion of me. Um, so a lot of them wouldn't buy, but, uh, and I live in a trailer park, I live in a trailer park, but people from, uh, wealthy areas, nice homes, million dollar homes, were going out of the way to come to see me in my trailer park, buy my stuff from me, because it was, they knew they were getting a good deal. Um, and so th that was rewarding to sell some things to, uh, to people, I you know, like 200 bucks, and selling quite a bit on Facebook Marketplace, thank you Facebook for giving us a place to sell things. Um. I don't sell things that are broken. I don't sell things that are necessarily um, used improperly. I don't sell unsanitary items. I do clean uh, very vigorously and very thoroughly. Um, I don't put myself or my family in danger as well when it comes to items that come from the trash. Um, real quick, uh, just a quick rundown of some inventory, which I really do need to inventory everything. And please, once again, forgive the mess. Uh, what did I find? What did I find uh, tonight? A um, couple things, a couple big finds. Um, right here, and once again, forget the mess. Right here, we have our, let's see, DeLonghi? Is that how you say, is that how you say that? DeLonghi? <laughs> I don't know. It looks expensive. Now, it's a floor model, okay? Now this came from a Bed Bath & Beyond, something to be very careful with, uh, floor models that come from most um, companies, uh, retailers, uh, like this. They're not going to have all the electronics, or all the guts of the electronics. They're going to have just enough to make it you know, light up, maybe LED light in there to have the power button light up, or maybe they'll uh, have uh, you know some of the gauges work, but there's no cord for it necessarily. There's no... Uh, it's, it's just a, an outer shell, a husk of what the item should be, just to give the population an idea of what it looks like. This, however, uh, from what I understand from the research I found, uh, has all of its guts, has all the parts, has everything it needs to run except for a power cord, which we have one in the mail coming. Uh, thank you, Amazon, for always having the parts that I need for uh, the items I want to sell. <laughs> um, this, uh, this item sells for quite a bit. Uh, for understand, um, I got it for free. I might sell this thing for 50 bucks. I guarantee you it's worth a hell of a lot more. But I'm not out here to make tons of money. I'd like to make enough money to enjoy a hobby and maybe take the kids to the movie. Uh, maybe put a little bit back for a nest egg. But this is for super fun. And it is for fun. It's exciting. You have a good time. You find little treasures and you get to sell things. Watch other people be very happy with it. And if you feel good, they feel good. You get to keep doing what you like, even though it's, uh, you know, looked down upon. So, yeah, Bed Bath & Beyond find right here. Uh, Bed Bath & Beyond is going out of business, slowly but surely, along with Bye Bye Baby. Their, their dumpsters are always, always um, fruitful. Enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, another find from there today. We have a $40, a $40 adjustable drapery rod. $40, $39.99, 48 to 88 inch 
adjustable drapery rod. So here we go. Drapery rod. Alright. Oh look at that. Oh, look, look red spray paint. Huh. They do that a lot, don't they? So that is a big problem. Now people have a lot of advice, a lot of tips out there. Um I've tried them all. Oh my wife has. Let me rephrase that. My wife has tried them all. I uh, I sat back and watched her try them all. What I found, uh, along with her, is that stainless steel polisher works great. Now, as a guy, I'm looking at the stainless steel polisher, having never really used it before. Wow, well, that's pretty slick. It has a certain smell to it. This smells like WD-40. Huh. I'm going to try it. So, get yourself a can of WD-40. Or an off brand, go to Walmart and just get their generic lubricant. Uh, I used to have a bottle around here somewhere. Oh, I don't have one right now. Use that. Now, come to the item that is spray painted with red, or the red overspray, and hit it really good. So it got really good with the WD 40. Now, I, I did find this can WD 40. So it is um, without a lid. So I like to find my products for free as well. So, real quick. We're going to show you right, what we're doing right here, okay? Here we go. W40, all right? Here. We're going to soak it in, right? Get a good saturation going. I've already hit this a couple of times, so they did have it really, really thoroughly um, uh, just saturated with red paint. And I'm cutting quite a bit off. You'll see what I'm talking about here. All right? There we go. It is important that you get to this sooner than later, okay? Uh, the sooner you get to it, the better. The more likely all of it will come off. Um, I found some shark vacuums. I've, I've sold easily uh, probably $4,000 worth of shark vacuums from Bed Bath & Beyond that they throw out. There are four models that still work. And I sell them for, you know, I think I never sold much of anything more, more than 50 bucks at the most. Even it was valued a lot more. Um, some things I hold on to that are worth a lot more antiques or items. Anyways, uh, I digress. It's important you get to this sooner than later to get the red right stripping off. Saturate with WD 40. Let's go back over it and just really just kind of keep cleaning. Now you may have to do this, you may have to go over it three or four times. But I guarantee you, it won't take you forever. The reason I was able to show those shark vacuums and get rid of them, and the reason nobody else wanted them was because they were just really, really riddled with red overspray in there. It was all over the place. And, you know, people don't want to buy that. People don't want to buy that. Uh, people don't want to use that in their home. You know, I had to explain to a friend or a family member why there's a red spray paint on their home appliance. So, WD-40 or generic lubricant or stainless steel polisher. Will work to get all of that paint off. Really, you can see it's, it's really coming off. Not that hard either. And this is porous plastic. No, not that, that slick acrylic. This cock maker has a very porous top to it. It's coming off relatively easy. Alright. My hands are also not saturated and soaked in the red spray paint. So, you know, a little, little tip there, a little bit of advice there. Works in just about everything. Um, oh yeah, by the way, this is another find that I had tonight. I found a piece to it. Where'd she go, where'd she go, where'd she go? Where'd she bang, where'd she bang, where'd she bang? I have all the pieces to it, which is really nice. I didn't even cut the cord. It was new in the box. It is a ninja coffee maker, because I guess people still will have coffee makers at home instead of like a French press. Those of you who use Keurigs, that's gross, man. That is so gross. You can get rid of all the bacteria out of that thing. But, you know, if you need a Keurig, you know, hit your boy up. I probably have one for really cheap. Um, but yeah, this is brand new. The, the list They listed it on the, the box that it came in. That the problem was the customer took it home and opened it up and it was used and dirty. I think this son bitch took it home 
and use it himself. It's like, man, I really regret buying this coffee maker for that much money because the coffee don't taste that much better. It tastes like coffee still, so I'm going to take it back. So he did, and guess what? He used it. Told them it was somebody else. He could buy it used. They believed him. They have to throw it in the trash. And your boy went and picked it up. So, um, yeah. That was another find tonight. Ninja. I don't know what they retail for. This ninja is probably a lot of money. I might keep it. I might give it somebody for Christmas. Yeah, because I'm cheap like that. I've got another coffee maker here. Uh, yeah. Working on that one. You see, a lot of coffee makers going to trash this time of year. I don't know what the deal is. And it's like it's hot. And you want to hold on to this stuff. Don't just throw it out. Let's see. What else did I get tonight? And tonight only. I got several of these that I'm working on. Um, little hand soap dispensers. Cute. They're cool. The object when these people throw these in the trash can is that they want to um, break them. If they throw them in the trash can as hard as they can and break them, it's undesirable. A little crack right there, that's not going to turn me setting this up and putting it in my boy's bathroom. You know? Clean it up, have a little crack in your acrylic. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. We're not going to throw it away. You know, when we clean it up, you can use it. Um, so we had three coffee makers all together. We had, whoa, whoa, whoa. We had three, um, three coffee makers all together. We had several in the box, uh, um, Philips, uh, Sonicare toothbrushes. Now, I am not using this toothbrush for personal use or anybody else in my family, but I might use it. I might use it for a cleaning device in the house. But um, so look at these, still in the box, still in the box, wrapped up nice and, te nice and neat. They spray painted the box, that's okay, that's okay. They don't open the box, toothbrush is still good. All right. So I got three new Sonicare, Philips Sonicare uh, toothbrushes. I don't know what to do, what's so great about them, but you know, I got them. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got a pair, a pair, and they almost fit my wife, so I to wear them, size too big, or, I got a pair, size, size, eight, some Steve, Steve Madden, Steve Madden, size eight, women's tennis shoes, they're god awful ugly, god awful ugly, god these things are hideous, brand new, brand new, uh, zebra, black, yellow, white, and ew, but hey, you know what? Steve Madden. Some of y'all bitches wear this shit. Oh, you do? I know you do. Let's see. Where are my treasures for tonight? Um, well, I think that's really it tonight. I got a couple books, I got a couple outfits, uh, kids, a couple shams, stuff like that. Oh, the kids will get a use out of. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I got a paper shredder. Giant paper shredder. My floor city is, I'm not going to show that to you though, okay? Next time, next time. Um, if you have questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Things to think about when you want to go out and think about doing dumpster diving. One, it is illegal to get into a trash trailer, okay? It is also very dangerous to get into a trash trailer. Two, always respect the people that you uh, pick through, okay? If I go to a dumpster and there's trash around it, because you know, someone else has already been there, some of the divers have been there, it makes me angry. Because when you leave an area, you leave it better than you found it. You clean it up. You want to say that, hey, I'm providing you a service, you're providing me a service. Or, I'm providing you a service because you've provided me a service. We me free stuff. That, uh, most of it is brand new. Maybe needs a little TLC. Let me repay you. Let me clean up the area. Make it look better. Um, don't leave the area trashed. If someone tells you to stay away, whether it be a security guard, whether it be an employee, or a owner, or manager, or what have you, just, just, just do it, man. It's their area, their space, and we're visitors, and we're encroaching, and sometimes that makes it undesirable for customers to come there and spend money. If it's undesirable for customers to come there and spend money. Guess what? The trash is not going to be that good. Tony, gotta come full circle. Be nice, be pleasant, and uh, happy hunting. Talk to you later. Bye.